Hey, this is Lincoln with In The Band. In this video, we're going to be covering the topic of melody in music and learning how to create melodies in BandLab. This video is part of a series about the basic tools of music theory and how to use these tools in composition or songwriting. If you haven't watched it yet, we recommend watching our video on rhythm before watching this one. Before we actually get into melody, let's just go over all of the notes in music real quick. In Western music, we use 12 different notes. There are the naturals, which are the seven white keys on a keyboard, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, and the sharps and flats, which are the five black keys. Each black key has two names. Sharp basically means above, and flat basically means below. The note between C and D can be called C sharp because it's right above C, or D flat because it's right below D, but either way, it's the same note. In the BandLab mobile app MIDI editor, all of the black keys are labeled as sharps, not flats, but it's good to know both names. A melody is a sequence of musical notes played or sung one after another. This is a note, and this is a melody. Technically, a melody can be any sequence of notes, so this is as much a melody as this is. But clearly, one of these sounds much more chaotic, and the other sounds more organized, and probably better or at least more memorable to most people's ears. But why is that? What determines how good or bad a melody sounds? The answer is complicated because it really depends on several different factors, but two of the most important of these factors are called scales and keys. A scale is a set of notes in a particular order. There are many different types of scales, but we're just going to talk about two of them right now, major scales and minor scales. Here is a C major scale. And here is a C minor scale. Now here's a D major scale. Can you hear how it sounds similar to C major, but not exactly the same? That's because even though the individual set of notes within each of them is different, they follow the same interval pattern, which is what makes them both major scales. An interval is the space or relationship between two notes. The smallest interval, the distance between one note and the note right next to it, is called a half step. An interval of two half steps is called a whole step. To make any major scale, find your root note, also called the tonic or the one, in this case we're going to use C, and then follow the interval pattern, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. To make a minor scale, we're going to use C again, follow the interval pattern, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. At the end of the pattern, you should arrive back on your root note an octave higher than the note you started on. An octave is the interval between one note and the next instance of that note. For example, between one C and the next. A key is the major or minor scale around which a melody, song, or other piece of music is built. If a song is in the key of C major, for example, that means it uses the notes found in the C major scale. It also means that the note for which the key is named, C, is the tonal center of that key, which basically means all of the other notes in the key can be thought of in terms of their relationship to the note C. To get back to how this relates to melody, a melody that stays within a certain key, which we call a tonal melody, is more likely to sound organized and natural than one which does not, which we call an atonal melody. Now, a song in a certain key does not have to use only the notes within that key, but it generally should for the most part. By the way, Every major and minor scale, and therefore every key, has seven different notes in it. I keep bringing up C major because it's probably the easiest key to remember, especially if you're using a keyboard or MIDI editor. That's because C major uses all of the naturals and none of the sharps or flats. Let's make a melody in the key of C major using the BandLab mobile app. So just like with drum beats, there's a few different ways to make melodies using BandLab. I'm going to show you how to do it on the BandLab app using the MIDI instruments tool. So select MIDI instruments. Up at the top, I'm going to select keyboards. You can use pretty much any kind of instrument you want for this, except for drums, but I'm going to go with a grand piano. A great feature of BandLab is that it actually lets you set the key of your song, which is especially helpful later on in the production process. I'm just going to click on the little settings icon at the top, click where it says revision key, and then I'm going to scroll down and find the key that we're in, which again is C major. And then when you're done, you just click on this little waveform icon to get back to your recording window. Now, just like we did with drum beats, I'm going to turn on the metronome in the bottom right and the input quantize in the upper right. Because we're in the key of C major, that means we're going to be using only the naturals, or only the white keys, and our melody is probably going to sound the strongest or the best if we end right on the note C. So I'm going to hit record, wait for four clicks, and then try and make a melody following those guidelines.
Okay, I'm going to click on the little downward facing arrow next to the queue to go back to my main track display window. I'm going to trim the edges, drag my melody back to the beginning of the song, and let's listen to it. Rhythm is an important element of melody as well. I'll show you what I mean using the BandLab browser app. Here's that same keyboard melody in BandLab for browser. By double clicking it, it opens up in the MIDI editor. I'm going to use the select tool in the MIDI editor to change the timing of these notes. I'm not going to change any of the notes, just the timing. Even though it's still the same notes in the same order, by changing the rhythm it's now a different melody. Sometimes just changing the rhythm can make the difference between a good melody and a great one. Many songwriters and composers consider melody to be the core or the most important part of a song. If you get a song stuck in your head, it's probably the melody that's getting stuck there. Like rhythms, melodies can be very simple, very complicated, or anywhere in between, but a lot of the catchiest and most popular ones are actually pretty simple. There are a ton of great examples of simple melodies in popular music, but just to name a few, Lean On Me by Bill Withers, Seven Nation Army by The White Stripes, you can even hear it in classical pieces like the Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. I think one of the best examples is Free Fallen by Tom Petty, which has a melody that's made up of just three different notes. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.